hi students in our last class we have discussed about velocity time graphs for two cases first one velocity time graph for uniform motion and in the second case we have seen about velocity time graph for uniformly accelerated motion uniformly accelerated motion means velocity changes in equal amount in equal interval of time velocity changes by equal amounts in equal intervals of time that is what when a body moves with uniform acceleration when a body is moving with uniform acceleration we know velocity of that object changes by equal amounts in equal interval of time so the velocity time graph for uniformly accelerated motion is a straight line inclined to the time axis now we are going to uh, see a problem related to this topic that is velocity time graph for uniformly accelerated motion let's see the question read the question show that area under the velocity time graph of an object moving with constant acceleration in a straight line in certain interval is equal to distance covered by an object in that time interval that is what we want to show in this question that is we want to show that area under the velocity time graph of an object that is moving with constant acceleration these are the points that we must consider velocity time graph of an object moving with constant acceleration is equal to distance covered so first of all let's draw the velocity time graph for this case we know the shape of velocity time graph of an object moving with constant acceleration is a straight line inclined to time axis this is the shape of the velocity time graph in this case then we want to show that area under the velocity time graph is equal to distance covered by that object so area under the graph means we want to find area of this shaded region that is the area under the velocity time graph here it is equal to here you can see a trapezium o a b d so area under this velocity time graph is equal to area of the trapezium o a b d so here we can write area under the velocity time graph ab is equal to area of trapezium o a b d here when you consider this trapezium o a b d it can be it can be considered as this o b c it consists of a right angle triangle o sorry a b c and a rectangle o a c d so area of the trapezium is equal to area of the right angle triangle abc plus area of the rectangle oacd so here let us find area of the trapezium like this so this is equal to area of right angled right angle triangle abc plus area of rectangle a o a c d o a c d what is area of a right angle triangle it is half b h so it is equal to half into what is b basis a c here in this figure we can take 
the distance from the origin to the point d as time t so that is uh, ac is also equal to t so this is equal to basis t into what is altitude height is equal to bc here this point when it is extended to the y axis it gives the final velocity and let us take final velocity as v then what will be the distance bc that is for this right angle triangle abc we now we know uh, base is equal to ac that is equal to this time t then what about this distance height bc bc is equal to v that is total distance this distance the total distance is equal to v minus v0 will give you this distance bc so bc can be written as v minus v0 i hope you have uh, understood this one that is the total distance is v that is this length is v and this is v0 so what will be the remaining one v minus v0 so this can be written as t into v minus v0 plus area of rectangle rectangle areas breadth into height so it is t into this length oa that is equal to v0 so it is equal to v0 into t so we got this equation then let's calculate this as v0 half into v0 sorry vt minus half into v0 t plus v0 into t so this will become half into vt minus 1 by 2 v0 t plus v0 t is equal to what is minus 1 by 2 plus 1 is minus 1 plus 2 by 2 which is equal to 1 by 2 so this will become this will become plus 1 by 2 v0 t here you can see half t is common so let's take that outside so it is half into v0 plus v into t then when you consider this v plus v0 by 2 this is what is uh, this 1 by 2 into v0 plus v that is here you have velocities uh, initial velocity as v0 and the final velocity as v and 1 by 2 into v0 plus v means it is the average velocity right v0 we have only two velocities so v total divided by 2 is equal to average velocity so this is like average velocity into t time interval what is average velocity average velocity into time it is equal to distance traveled distance traveled in time t so we can write this 1 by 2 v0 plus v into t as average velocity into time interval okay that is equal to distance traveled distance traveled in time t distance traveled in time t so from this calculation we have understood that area under velocity time graph of an object moving with constant acceleration is equal to what distance traveled in time t so that's all about this